Hello, welcome again. This is our online service for Sunday the 24th of October, the 21st after Trinity. The Collect. Grant, we beseech you, merciful Lord, to your faithful people pardon and peace, that they may be cleansed from all their sins and serve you with a quiet mind through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Our first hymn is Just As I Am Without One Plea. Mm -hmm. That thy blood was shed for me, and that thou bidst me come to thee, O Lamb of God, I come just as I am, no toast about with many a Things and fears within, without, O Lamb of God, I come. Just as I am, poor, wretched, blind, sight, riches, healing, chapter 10, beginning at verse 46. They came to Jericho. As he and his disciples and a large crowd were leaving Jericho, Bartimaeus, a blind beggar, was sitting by the roadside. When he heard that it was Jesus of Nazareth, he began to shout out and say, Jesus, son of David, have mercy on me. Many sternly ordered him to be quiet, but he cried out even more loudly, Son of David, have mercy on me. Jesus stood still and said, Call him here. And they called the blind man, saying to him, Take heart, get up, he's calling you. So throwing off his cloak, he sprang up and came to Jesus. And Jesus said to him, What do you want me to do for you? The blind man said to him, My teacher, let me see again. Jesus said to him, Go. Your faith has made you well. Immediately he regained his sight and followed him on the way. This is the word of the Lord. 
Thanks be to God. Such a simple story, tucked in at the end of the chapter, easy to see as just another of Jesus' healing miracles, but there's so much there. Here are five quick thoughts. Number one, Bartimaeus shouts. He knows that he needs to shout or he'll be passed by. He can't afford to be polite because his need is urgent. So, while I'm not literally blind or in any kind of desperate personal need at present, there are things and people about which I feel strongly, passionately even. Am I able to shout, to beg, in order to make sure I'm heard? Not that God is deaf, but as with Jesus' meeting with the Canaanite woman, perhaps what he wants is to draw out of me passionate, determined, and if necessary, impolite prayer. No use murmuring help. You have to shout, and if necessary, go on shouting. Two, Bartimaeus embarrasses those who want the rabbi's visit to Jericho to go smoothly. So they try to shush him up, just as Jesus' disciples had tried to keep the children away from him. But stage-managed processions are are not Jesus' thing. In other words, they're not God's thing. When we try to make things go well for appearance's sake, God sees through it and cuts through it to get to what really matters. Ordinary people who need to be loved. Three, what do you want me to do for you? Jesus asks Bartimaeus the same question he's just asked James and John, drawing out their wish for the best seats in heaven. Bartimaeus gets his wish, but Jesus doesn't always give us what we want, as the two disciples discovered. But he does want us to answer that question honestly, to tell him what we really want. Not to second guess the right thing to ask for, but to be straight with him. And then, whether it's actual healing of some kind, or as with James and John, a a lesson to be learned, or the strength to endure suffering or loss, He will give us what we need, what our souls need. Four, not for the only time, Jesus tells the person he's just healed, your faith has made you well. You dared to ask, to step out in faith. And now you have not only physical healing, but also wholeness, salvation. You're put right in every way. And all you needed to do was ask, long and loud if necessary, without letting others discourage you and bringing the thing you really want. Five, finally. Often we don't know what the people Jesus met did next, but here we learn that Bartimaeus followed him in the way. And remembering that the first Christians were known as followers of the way, we imagine for Bartimaeus, not just a physical journey, but a faith journey, a walking on to whatever God has in store for him. To follow the one who makes us whole. We are all in that company, with all the other blind beggars who've been given sight and joy and hope. Amen. In our prayers, when I say where we are blind, our response is, help us to see. Let us pray. Where we are blind, help us to see. God of our salvation, you long to make us whole. Be at work in your church by your spirit to give us boldness, perseverance 
and honesty in prayer. A heart to serve the community in which we live and the willingness to walk in the path you show us. Where we are blind, help us to see. God of our salvation, you long for reconciliation, peace and justice for your kingdom to grow in this world. At this time of collective anxiety and uncertainty, instill in people everywhere a deeper desire to reach out to one another, to honour and care for the poor, to seek the well-being of all creation and to act at all times with integrity. Where we are blind, help us to see. God of our salvation, you long for the sick and the vulnerable, the lonely and the unhappy, to find healing and hope. Bless those who work in health care and help us all to offer companionship and practical help wherever we can. Where we are blind, help us to see. And hear us now as we join our prayers in the words Jesus gave us, saying, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory, for ever and ever. Amen. Our final hymn is, Lord, for the years your love has kept and guided, urged and inspired us, cheered us on our way. Lord, for the years your love has kept and guided, urged and inspired us. Cheered us on our way, sought us and saved us, God and unprovided, Lord of the years, we bring our thanks today, Lord, for that word, the word of life which fires us. Speaks to our hearts and sets our souls ablaze. Teaches and trains, rebukes us and inspires us. Lord of the world, receive your people's praise. Lord, for our lives. In this our generation, spirits oppressed by pleasure, wealth and care. For young and old, for commonwealth and nation, Lord of our land, be pleased to hear our prayer. Disown and doubt him, loveless in strength and comfortless in pain, hungry and helpless, lost indeed without him, Lord of the world, we pray that Christ may reign. Lord, for ourselves in living power remain. 
cross, self on the cross, and Christ upon the throne. Past put behind us, for the future take us, Lord of our lives, to live for Christ alone. What a hymn. Thank you, Timothy Dudley Smith, 95 this year, still as inspiring as ever. So a blessing. God, the Holy Trinity, make you strong in faith and love, defend you on every side, and guide you in truth and peace. And the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, be upon each one of you and all those you love, this day and forever. Amen. Go well until we next meet or see each other. God be with you. Goodbye.